I want to say to you, son and daughter of God, dear a hold on to the word of God. God has called you to be courageous. God has called you to be fearless. Your obedience is necessary in this season. God wants you to engage with him in this season. Not just get a word and just sit in the presence. It's a season of engagement. The Lord says, I'm bringing you guys in too. Because it's time to make a movement. Do you know that there are generations that are waiting for you to arrive? And the scripture in Romans says that the earth is in travail and in groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. The earth is waiting for you to show up with that vision. Waiting for you to show up with that vision. Come on. Waiting for you to show up with that dream, that business plan. Come on. There's a college campus that's got your name on it. But it's got the harvest on it too. And God is waiting for you to go after it. So we've got to be dauntless in this season. Another thing I felt like the Lord was saying, as we step into this time of being fearless and courageous, I heard this one word. It's about 20 of you that would really believe the word of the Lord this morning. And this afternoon, rather. Hallelujah. That would believe the word of the Lord this afternoon. That would say this. Here's what the Lord said to me. He said, this is a season of no more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. Come on, you, 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 you sat long enough? Come on, those plans have been on the table long enough? Some of you just need to go to the real estate agent and, and, and say, you know, I want to learn how to, I want to own this stuff right here. I want all this. This belongs to my daddy. I don't have the money, but it belongs to my daddy. Don't be dauntless. Amen. Somebody shop, no more delay. No more delay. Tell around you, no more delay. No more delay. Be fearless, be courageous in the things that God has called you to be. Things that God has called you to do. I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to dream big, to dream wild, dethrone the spirit of fear. Put faith where fear belongs. I feel like God is inviting us to trade thrones in this season. Even some of that even deals with our assignment. Some of us put our assignment on the throne, and God's like, no, I'm the God of the assignment. Come on. And you need to trade thrones with that assignment. Come on. Amen. Amen. Put God back in the rightful place. God, you called me to it. Everything that you have on the inside of you, I believe it's uh, either First Thessalonians or First Corinthians. It says everything that pertains to life and godliness that God has given to us. Everything that you need is already on board. But when you come into the awareness that God is for me, that God is with me, you become unstoppable. The day that you can kick intimidation to the side, you become unstoppable. Do you know that you are hell's worst nightmare? <laughs> Every time that you get up in the morning, the enemy says, oh my God, she done got up again. He done got up again. I just, I just hit them with the worst storms ever and they keep getting up, they keep trusting me. They, come on. It's because we won't quit and guess what, we won't die. I mean, it was a, there, there was a movie, uh, and I wasn't allowed to watch it that much, it was called Baby's Kids. <laughs> And it says, we don't die, we multiply. I believe that that's what God is saying over this conference. You will not die in this season, but you will multiply. You will multiply in strength. You will multiply in courage. You will multiply in vision. You will multiply in prophecy. Come on. Come on, it's only going to get greater from here. If you're in this conference, God is saying it's an hour of no more delay. If you're in this conference today, God is saying, this is your hour to break out. This is your hour of deliverance. This is your hour of freedom. God has marked your life. I'm going to prophesy over a few people. Brian, I just felt like this is a word for Brian. Me and Hallelujah. I can prophesy over my big brother. Shabba. Glory to God. Brian, I felt like the Lord saying, Son, this is a season of expansion and growth in unmeasurable proportions, says the Lord. The Lord says, yes, you've seen the depths and you've seen the limbs. The Lord says, no, the shorty son, that it's about to even increase even more. The Lord says, even that word concerning real estate also rests for you. The Lord says, not only am I gonna cause real estate to open up uh, uh, for the ministry in Louisiana, but I felt like the Lord was saying that I'm going to begin to even open up regional offices for you, says the Spirit of God even throughout this nation, but I, thought, I saw two specific locations where the Lord says that I'm going to begin to break open for you, son, um, for bridal glory in this next season. 
where the Lord says, watch what I begin to do in South America concerning property and offices. And watch what I even begin to do, even in the UK and London, what I begin to break open for you, son, says the Spirit of God. The Lord says in this next season that I'm not only going to increase the measures of my glory, but the Lord says I'm increasing the weight of responsibility in and through your life, says the Spirit of God. For the Lord says there's been seasons that you've even operated, yes, as the evangelist, you've operated, yes, as a prophet. But the Lord says more and more this season, son, I am resting my governmental mantle of the apostolic upon your shoulders. To impart, to equip, and to release. And I felt like the Lord said that. I know in the natural, you, you have the virtual schools that you do. But the Lord says, watch son, what I even begin to do as you begin to travel even more with the glory nights. I felt like the Lord said, out of your midst, I'm going to raise up a school. It's going to break open. It's going to be like a glory school. There will be students that will begin to come and be trained for seasons and times on end at physical locations. I even felt like there was going to be this equipping model that's even going to come on uh, the glory nights as you begin to continue to travel. The Lord says there's going to be this equipping component, not only for people to encounter, but the Lord says they're going to be equipped. And the Lord says you're going to be one that will begin to teach and to raise up and to father in this next season, says the Spirit of God. The Lord says I'm going to cause churches and leaders to become accountable, not to you just as a person, but to the anointing that I place on the inside of you, says the Spirit of God. For the Lord says this is an apostolic season, my son. In and through you.